Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows two large encephalocils, pleural effusion, ascites, and soft tissue in a fetus of about 20 weeks. You can see the fetal head, spines, and the fetal chest cavity and you can see the this is the fetal head this is the fetal abdomen and you can see the pleural effusion and pericardial effusion the fluid in the pericardial space and in the chest cavity in the pleural cavity these this these are the spines now again you can see the encephalocele is also visible Although the fetal cardiac activity is present, but there is no fetal movements. You can see the fetal cardiac activity. The sonographic features of Hydrops fetalis are defined as the presence of two or more abnormal fluid collections in the fetus. These includes ascites, pleural effusion, pericardial effusion, and generalized skin edema, defined as skin thickness more than 5 mm. Now you can see the pleural effusion. You can see both the lungs and the fetal cardiac activity. Fluid is seen in the pleural cavity and in the this this is the bilateral pleural effusion. The fluid in the pleural cavity and fluid is also seen in the pericardial space. Now you can see two large encephalocytes. Placenta is anteriorly attached. And both these pleural cavities are attached to the hind portion of the fetal skull. An encephalocell is a rare disorder in which the bones of the skull do not close completely. This creates a gap through which cerebrospinal fluid, brain tissue and the meninges can protrude into a sac-like formation. Now you can see the Two large encephalocils. An encephalocil forms when the neural tube do not close properly during gestation. A neural tube is a narrow channel that folds and close to form brain and spinal cord. You can see both the femur of the fetus, but there is no absolutely no fetal card, card fetal limb movements the exact cause of this neural tube defect is unknown it usually 
occurs among families with a history of spina bifida and anencephaly. You can see there is no fetal limb movements. Ultrasound images of the fetus can reveal the presence of a herniated fluid filled sac outside the skull. In capillocele that go undetected during gestation usually are diagnosed at birth by observation of the deformity. Sometimes in couple of seals are detected during a routine prenatal ultrasound as early as 13 weeks of gestation. If an encapsulo seal is suspected on an ultrasound, a fetal MRI can provide all the details necessary to, cur to confirm the diagnosis. Now you can see a large encapsulo seal. Now both the encaphalocele are visible attached to the hind portion of the fetal skull. Now symptoms of encaphalocele, neurological problems, hydrocephalus cerebrospinal fluid accumulated in the brain, spastic quadriplegia paralysis of the limbs as you can see in this case. No fetal limb movements is visible. Now, this encaphalocele measures about 8.3 cm into 4.7 cm, and the other one separated by a septa measures about 7.0 cm into 8.8 .8 cm. This one is the larger in capillocele. Now you can clearly see both the encaphalocele. Now the other symptoms of in capillocele are microcephaly an abnormally small head ataxia uncoordinated muscle movements now the developmental delays vision problems mental and growth retardation Again, you can see both the encaphalocytes attached to the hind portion of the fetal skull. Encaphalocytes are usually dramatic deformities diagnosed immediately after birth, but occasionally a small encaphalocyte in the nasal and forehead region can go undetected. There is a genetic component to the Condition. It often occurs in families with the history of spina bifida and encaphalocele in other family members. Babies with the frontal encaphalocele, no associated syndrome or defects, and no brain tissue herniating into the sac have a good chance of survival. Babies with the encaphalocele at the back of the head, as you have seen in this case, have a 50% survival rate. Now the, the remaining brain tissue is often exposed, not covered by the bone or 
skin affected babies are usually blind deaf unconscious and unable to feel pain almost all babies when in cuffless and in cuffly die before birth although some may survive few hours or few days after birth now the prognosis is there is no cure or standard treatment of anencephaly and the prognosis of the patient is fetal demise neural tube defects are birth defects of the brain spine and spinal cord they happen in the first month of pregnancy often before a woman even knows that she is pregnant the two most common neural tube defects are spina bifida and anencephaly in spina bifida the fetal spine column doesn't close completely now you can see the fetal soft tissue edema in the head of the fetus you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks